So this is the third time I'm trying to record this video. Uh, the first time I had a sneezing fit and my nose was itching and I realized it was scratching my nose way too much and it would have been triggering to, uh, to other targets. And um, the second time I, I started recording, the phone started ringing. So here we go, take three. Um, I'm Today I'm just documenting uh, what happened with, you know, in like the hour that I went out. I, I didn't go work today, but um, I had to run an errand. So, and of course they're gonna pack you know, whatever time they have with me with as much provocation as possible. So, um, you know, from the moment I walked out, there were these guys on me and they, they followed just behind, right? Just behind me. And it can, because this is the city and people walk on the streets, you know, it looks just normal, ordinary, you know, and be, it sometimes it is the same guy or he looks the same, but sometimes it's different guys. So it's not like, you know, what can I do? How can I prove they're actually following me? Um, you know, one guy, as soon as I left the building, he followed me right up to the location that I had to go to. And then he just stood outside texting and looking back at me and texting and looking back at me as I walked in. And he was gone when I left. Um, in the store, they had two guys uh, and they weren't following behind me. It's not like they were trailing me because then that would have been obvious. But what they would do was they would, they would, they would meet me at the aisles, like I would go down one aisle and they would come down the other way and, and kind of intersect with me. And they, they were doing that the entire time. But again, it looked ordinary, It you know, because they weren't just trailing behind me, it didn't look like they were following me. That's that's how they do it. Or we'll have someone follow me for, you know, when, when I am working for just for miles. And then when, you know, when I start when I start shouting, when I get angry, they'll have him get in front of me. And they did that a few days ago too, I forgot to mention it, where, they had some guy following behind me and he had been following me for miles. And then in one location, he, he got in front of me and then he looked back at me and he kind of, he looked around frantically and like he was paranoid or something of me. And it, it made it look like I was following him when I wasn't right. Anyway, so the store, right. You know, I, I, I did what I had to do. I, 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 I should have picked up what we needed when I was out yesterday and I always forget something or sometimes I'm just in such of a, I'm su in such a rush to get home. I don't want to be bothered doing anything anymore because I, I know it's going to be one, one provocation after another and I, I'm just exhausted. So I made, I, I had, you know, I, I created extra work for myself today. I, I shouldn't even have had to go out today, but it was my fault. I forgot something. Um, anyway. So on the way home, you know, there were these guys and they were making the gestures. They would come at me, you know, they would, they would be spaced out. You know, they, they have these, these, these lackeys, these perpetrators in, in different locations, but so that there's one to meet me, you know, every, you know, every block or so, and they'll each make the same damn gesture, right? It's just it's showing me that they're there and, you know, too. Oh, and also, you know, as soon as I left the building today, not left the building, as soon as I got onto the elevator today. Not as soon as I got on, it was the elevator. There was nobody in the elevator when I got on, but then it stopped and someone else got on and he, he was carrying in his hand a very large screwdriver. And just so that I couldn't, you know, think it was a coincidence he was supposed to have it because technically he could have, you know, tools on him. That's not unlikely, but just so that I didn't mistake that for, for, you know, um, you know, a maintenance job or something, he made the gesture. So I, I knew that it was supposed to be a threat kind of. Um, and because also too, the, the screwdrivers are having more and more people carry them around. Like, you know, I'll be walking and someone will have a screwdriver, he'll touch it and then he'll make the gesture. Just let me know, you know, um, and it, this is how they threaten. It's, you know, they, it's implied threats. It's implied, you know, it's intimidation, but it's not direct. It's not outward, you know, or if they'll make it, you know, a, a verbal threat, they'll be talking to someone and they'll, you know. They'll, they'll, they'll talk about how this person is going to die violently or that person's going to die violently or this person died of this or that person died of that. And, you know, it, they'll look at you and then they'll, 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 you know, look at each other and then look back at you, smirk and look at each other. So just, you know, that's how they'll do it. So, you know, if, if even if you want to report it, what do you report? You, you, you have nothing concrete, you, you know, you have no absolute evidence and that's how they do it. That's covert warfare, right? That's what it is. Um, but at the same time, you know, I say, well, they're trying to intimidate and they are, but, but I, I don't know that they're necessarily trying to frighten the target. I mean, you know, you have to obviously worry 
what they're going to do, how you, you know, how your life is going to end up, are you going to end up dead, you know, what about your family members and so on. But um, what they want is a violent outburst. You know, when someone is threatening you, especially if it's if there's a physical presence, right? Instinct is to fight back. Instinct is not to roll over, lie down, and, and cower. It is to fight back physically. So, you know, in, when, when it comes to us, they, they follow us. They hunt us. They stalk us. They let us know that they're there all the time. They, they hack our, our, our computers. They prank call us. They, they, they come into our homes when we're not there and leave a window open or move something around so that we know they were there. You know, they, they, they have their, their perpetrators make comments to us that reference things that we said or did in private that nobody could possibly know. They're, they're showing us that they're there all the time. They're following us. They're intimidating us or at least trying to intimidate us all the time, right? They're conquering us and they're showing it. it you know, they're rubbing it in, in our face. You know, and too, like with, and this has gotten a lot worse since I made the video about Russia. And I don't know whether this is, you know, backlash or whether it's not even Russia, whether it's maybe it's, it's someone else and they're trying to make it seem like it's Russia. And that's why they're making this worse, right? That's why now I've got more people with, with you know, coming in and making the gestures and then, you know, holding a screwdriver or trying to intimidate and then speaking in a thick Russian accent, right? I, I've got, you know, it, is it Russia or is it another government, probably ours, trying to make it seem like it's Russia? And you, you never know. But the, the, what they want, though, is not really... You know, I keep saying they're trying to intimidate, but what they want is a violent outburst, right? Instinct is to fight back physically. This, after this type of warfare, you know, this type of warfare is meant to break a target down on every level, body, mind, and soul, to just drive a target screaming mad, to, to, to drive the target to the point where when they start complaining about what's going on, they sound crazy, they're not taken seriously, and they're put in a mental institution. Or, um, or they, 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 they just finally snap physically and violently attack a perpetrator and get arrested or shot on the spot, you know, by a cop. Um, they want us to, they want to drive us to destroy ourselves in that manner. And it works, you know, that those mass shooters were targets, you know, and don't get me wrong. Most, most targets are not going out killing people. They're controlling themselves. Unfortunately, some are killing themselves, right? That's, but, you know, what they want is for the targets to snap on the perpetrators. They want that final provocation where the target just snaps and kills. Okay, those, those, those idiot perpetrators are sent out to die. They're sent out there to die. You know, because one day, at some point, a target is going to be so low and so done and so, so broken. You know, the, 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 the people around aren't going to matter. It's not going to matter if there are cops there, if there are cameras there, if there are people there. It's going to be the final provocation. The target is going to snap and the idiot perpetrator is going to die. You know, this is not a way, it, you know, if they're told that, that their purpose is to stop a threat, you know, intimidating people, getting in people's face, following them, hunting them, stalking them, harassing them, that's not any way to stop a threat. That's, that's an attempt to create a threat. That's an attempt to drive someone to the breaking point where they finally snap. This whole program is meant to, to create monsters, to, 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 to take human beings and break them down on every level. Worse psychologically to such a point that they, they just go screaming mad and lash out at everyone and everything around them. Um, you know, the point of this is not to stop a threat, it's to create a threat. And the masses are being used for that purpose. I don't know, you know, I, and I think, well, you know what, should I go to the FBI? And I don't know, and, and I had called them a while back too. Um, of course, nothing came of it, but, um, should I actually go into the office and, you know, should I trust them? Am I going to be walking right into, you know, the pit of vipers? But I can tell you this, when it comes to the Russia threat, these actions are not going to, to cause me to stop. It's going to make me scream louder. If you, if you want someone to shut up, you don't beat them until they scream, until they have to scream. You know, that, that, that doesn't make much sense. You want them to shut up. You don't just keep beating them and beating them and beating them harder and harder and harder until they have, until they can't help but scream, right? So by attacking worse and worse, they're not going to silence me. All they're doing is, is making me talk more, scream more. Okay, maybe look a little crazy in public, but I'm going to make more of these videos too. And plus, you know, a while, you know, years ago, I did, before I knew about gang stalking, I knew I was being followed and I thought it might be white supremacist or, you know, so, you know, it, 
you know, anyone who hates human rights activists, right? I thought that's what I thought, because that's how it looked. Um, and I did stop. I stopped talking. I stopped blogging. I stopped, you know, I took, I, I took time off from activism, but the attacks didn't stop. Okay. Just because I went silent doesn't mean the attacks stopped. They didn't. So why go silent? If they, you know, they're going to attack no matter what I do or don't do, whether I, I, I'm silent or whether I scream, I may as well scream. I may as well let people know what's going on. They're not going to intimidate me into silence. This is going to make me talk even more, fight even harder. You know, if, if we have to go to war, we have to go to war. The one thing that frightens me, though, that worries me is that maybe this is what they want because you never really know their intent. There's so many layers of manipulation and deception. Um, you know, they could want targets to come out with, with what's happening and talk about what's, ha what's being done to them in order to frighten the masses into, into silence, right? In order to frighten the population into, you know, into submission. That's also a strategy in war. You know, you take, they, they, they take people and they, they commit atrocities against them. They do it publicly to show the population what will happen to them if they make the same mistake as the target. Um, and I, you know, I realize that we could be used for that purpose by speaking up, but we have to speak up anyway. We have to let people know what's going on. And we have to hope that there are enough brave men and women among the, the human population that they're going to stand against this instead of, of, of bending over for the real threat. And, you know, it, it might come to the point where the target seems like the real threat because by the end, he or she is going to be lashing out and screaming and threatening and, and you know, but understand that person was not the threat to begin with. That person was tormented, tortured until he or she went mad. Okay. And that now it's a self-fulfilled expectation. See, see how violent he is. See how angry she is and on and on and on. Now the real threat are the psychopaths running the sick program. And I hope there are enough brave men and women out there to stand against that real threat instead of, instead of allowing themselves to be intimidated into bending over for it. We have to fight this, folks. We have to fight this. Um, and again, it does appear that Russia is involved in this. Things have gotten a lot worse since I started speaking about that, but it might not be, right? It might just be another, another government, maybe ours, trying to make it seem like it's Russia. I don't know. Anyway, stay cool, right? Don't, don't allow yourself to be provoked into violence because you know that's what they want, right? As soon as you act out violently, they, they have their self-fulfilled expectation. They, they stand back and say, see, see, we told you. All right, be cool.